What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be covering Shopify audiences. We're going to go over what they are and how you can use them for your Shopify store so you can decrease the cost, improve your conversion rates and improve your return on ad spend, which is going to lead to overall better profitability for your Shopify store. Make sure you stay to the end of the video as we're going to go and do a complete overview so you can understand how they work. Now, before I dive into it, I want to mention our sponsor ProfitCalc the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a free 15 day trial as well. So you can test drive everything for yourself. And there's a link in the description below. Now I'm gonna show you a quick video detailing all their features. But now let's dive into Shopify audiences here. So what it is in a nutshell, it's gonna allow you to create custom audiences from your Shopify admin that can be imported into Facebook and Instagram. They're also gonna extend it to platforms such as TikTok, Snapchat, Pinterest, Microsoft, and others. And so through their data so far, it's shown that they've seen an increase in conversion rates and return on ad spend, which is the exact hope of something like this. Something to note here is that it's only available for Shopify Plus merchants. You need to have that plan to begin using Shopify audiences. So rather than having to set everything up for yourself, doing complicated Facebook ad setup, merchants simply select the product they wanna sell more of, Machine learning builds an audience of high intent buyers tailored per merchant. The audience is directly and securely exported to their ad network of choice. Now, Shopify is gonna have a little more data, I think, than Facebook here, as they're gonna be able to combine things like the location. They can probably go back into their overall network of Shopify stores and find different data about that customer as well. And so this is gonna give you a very granular data set based on a specific product. And for most stores, they only have a few products that are gonna be selling really well. So you really wanna create it for those. Then you can have direct product ads leading back to that product page. And they did this because they know that independent merchants have had to pay twice as much to find a new customer as they did a year ago. Some acquisition costs have climbed 80% over the last year and ROAS has dropped reflecting the growing difficulty in digital marketing to find new buyers. So overall, I think this is a great option here available from Shopify and it's really easy to set up. And they've seen customers with ROAS as high as six times. That obviously depends on the cost of the product there, but overall merchants are seeing a lot of success from these audiences as well. And the important thing here is you can just split test it. You can say, all right, how well does this Shopify audience do compared to my regular purchase intent audience on Facebook? And you don't have to use it, but I think it's a great thing to test out, especially if you're a Shopify plus merchant. Something to note though, is that it's only available in the US and Canada and they're gonna later roll it out to different countries, but that could be a hindrance if your Shopify store isn't located there. Something to note about Shopify audiences as well is that it's designed for privacy. So the customer data is securely hashed and aggregated. So no business has access to the personal information or statistics of buyers included in Shopify audiences. They're going to be securely encrypted and transmitted to the ad platforms. You also can't download these lists and you can manage your customers opt out preferences from within your admin. So that's nice to see there, a little bit more privacy focused as many people are moving towards. Also gonna create that further lock into Shopify as well, is that if you've been using it and thinking about switching, you might not because your audience is now gonna be located within the Shopify platform. So overall, this concludes the video on Shopify audiences. I hope you have a better understanding of what it is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. If you haven't yet, hit that like button and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. And I also wanna mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below to start a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.